If you're still on the ropes about the Google Nexus 4, now is the time to buy. Apple's iWatch continues keeping everybody's radar busy, and rumors have Windows Phone 8 and Windows RT merging someday. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I don't know if it's worse to watch your team play a game and not win or to watch 90 minutes of nobody scoring. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the odd news. Everybody remembers those Sony camera lenses that are supposed to work attached to the Sony Xperia smartphone lineup. You remember those? Uh, well, we've got some leaked price tags and uh, well, we're talking about $230 for one and $500 for the other. Pretty much buying another smartphone here. Uh, these lenses are probably gonna be available at IFA and we just hope that people are still gonna care at this price range. And speaking of IFA in Berlin, another phone that's being expected to be launched at this event is the HTC One Max, which is a blown up tablet version of the HTC One. We've got some leaked photographs of a removable backplate, and I say removable backplate because the battery is not removable. And interesting, there's this hole at the back that hints to a fingerprint scanner, which we will probably see next week. And aside from that, we've also got HTC being rumored to be working on their own smartphone platform. Uh, let's just see how that goes. And speaking of smartphone platforms, we had heard the rumors of Microsoft killing Windows RT, but as it turns out, new reports have it that the company is actually merging both, just like you can on iOS and Android for both tablets and phones. You have the same operating system that shares pretty much the same applications across. This is actually a cool idea, and it actually hints to even more probabilities of Nokia tablets. And let's just hope they hurry with that if they actually want to save the platform. Now let's talk about Apple as we've got some more reports of the iWatch. It continues with a possible release date of 2014, but this time we do have a price range. Apparently it'll cost $200 or so, somewhere around there, which actually makes the whole concept compelling if Apple could actually figure out why we need a smartwatch. And that's not necessarily just another smartphone companion. And aside from that, Apple is apparently also being rumored to launch tablets on September 10th, where they also plan to launch iPhones if that whole September 10th event actually even happens. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you interested in the Nexus 7 in Europe, well, the device is already retailing, so get it while it's hot, but even hotter. The Nexus phone just saw this huge price drop. It now costs just $200 after nothing. This phone is off contract, $200 for the 8GB model, $250 for the 16GB model, and it just makes this price tag pretty much unbeatable. So that leads me to the question of the day. Would this make the Nexus 4 compelling? I mean, you do know that this phone is going to be revamped within the next couple of weeks, probably a month or so, uh, but still, I mean, $200. In my particular case, honestly, even if I don't need the Nexus 4, even if I want to wait for the future Nexus 4, man, $200 for that phone is just crazy. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and telephone world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.